We're at the Scotiabank Saddledome where the Calgary Flames just hired their 16th head coach in Calgary Flames history. Uh, Glenn Gullitson was named today as the head coach of the Calgary Flames after Bob Hartley was fired on uh, May 3rd earlier this uh, summer, this offseason. So it's been a pretty busy offseason for Brad Tree Living, uh, but they finally uh, named their guy Glenn Gullitson. He's 44 years old, uh, comes to Calgary from uh, being an assistant coach with the uh, Vancouver Canucks and has a bit of a, a, an experienced resume. He's got a lot of stops on his, uh, his resume so far. Yeah, and he knows the Flames from, of course, that uh, playoff series last year. Seems like a long time ago now, but that playoff series last year. Uh, and, of course, the brawl, McGratton, Tortorella, Hartley. So he was on the bench for that as well. And uh, he goes back further with the Flames, if you want to go back to his East Coast Hockey League days. He was the coach of the Las Vegas, Las Vegas Wranglers, and that was the Flames' uh, East Coast affiliate. So he kind of knows the city, knew Conroy. They were at camps together, so it's... Not totally unfamiliar. And one of the biggest things Brad Tree Living was talking about today is his ability to connect with the young generation of players, which is so important in a group with Sean Monahan, Johnny Goudreau, Dougie Hamilton, and Sam Bennett. You know, there's so many young guys that are going to contribute to this, uh, the, the rebuilding of this franchise still. So um, to have a, a guy like Glenn Gullitson that can connect with these players and, and get the most out of them, I think that's the biggest thing um, that stood out to me today in this hire. Yeah, and it was nice to see see the flames refreshing even for them not to dip into the old bag of dinosaurs for some sort of recycled coach it's a young GM with a young team and now it's got a young coach and like you said communication apparently is his forte and Hartley while he communicated well with us and he was funny I think he wasn't communicating so well on dressing room so I think the players will appreciate this move and and here in June, it looks like a good move. So it's nice to get this hire done, but this is only the start of it for Brad Tree Living and his crew. They have to hire an assistant or an associate coach in the coming weeks, as well as the draft is coming up next weekend, and they have to get a goaltender. They have to solve their goaltending problems as soon as possible. So whether that's trading some picks for a goaltender or trading for a goaltender straight up or signing a free agent, that's going to be uh, the next news in the next coming weeks.